Yeah. Day two of the fast. In fact, I'm going to look up how far along I am. We are exactly 50%. I'm uh, 36 hours in? It counts backwards, which doesn't really... I don't know. It's cool. But... <clears throat> I would rather... Uh, just see how long I've gone. My goal to reach at 72 hours would be tomorrow at 10.26. But at that point, it's a little late to eat dinner. It just makes more sense to wait until the next day. You really just at that point, it's easy. I mean, really, last night is the hardest because you're going to sleep on an empty stomach and you forget how easy it is to sleep when your belly is full and you're fat and happy. When you have a bunch of carbohydrates in you, oh my god, the insulin hits and you just crash, man, and you feel so good. Instead, I was probably up until one, tossing and turning, and, uh, Eventually woke up. I think I woke up initially at like seven ish, and I was soaked in sweat. Soaked, super sweaty. Uh, which is new. This never happened to me before. Um, whatever, it's fine. Got out of bed. I, like the more you can sleep, the better. Um, just because it's less time to have to think about food. Um, so I got up a little before nine, just jumped in a cold shower and then got right to work, did a meeting and then it was, uh, I did some reading, meditation, some stretching, some yoga, and then, uh, I got the coffee going, did some journaling. Did some more work, and now I kind of have a little pause. I'm going to make a bunch of phone calls. I just don't really feel like making yet, but I will. Um, and then I'm going to go to the gym and lift some weights. And then I'll come back, I'll shower, I won't eat, probably do some more work, maybe something creative. Uh, and then, jujitsu. And one of the things about coming home from Jits is being so excited to eat dinner. Just constantly. You don't realize how much life can revolve around food until you, you take it out. You think about, like, what am I doing for dinner? Oh, I can't wait to have dinner. Oh, I'm excited for lunch. Let's take a lunch break. Bah. And another downside is you can't have too much coffee because there's no butter, buffer. There's no butter either. <laughs> um, so, like, this is going to be the only caffeine I have, and this is going to be a lot. And that's a lot of water and a lot of electrolytes. So you got to make sure, if you ever do an elongated fast to have, like, an electrolyte powder, I got this shit. It's Dr. Berg's. Uh, but it's, like, sodium, magnesium, potassium... Calcium, I think selenium. There's a couple of the minerals in there. Um, and then I just get like some spelagrinos. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I think spelagrinos. Some flavored ones just to like do something different. Because otherwise you're just like a miserable fuck. And you need some weight to whatever you're drinking so you can feel almost trick yourself into like you're eating something although you're not um it's weird man it's weird you're like in the beginning like this morning I want to say I was like really anxious to do a lot of different things 
and then I finally meditated, and now I can focus. Um, but the energy is through the roof, man. Just, you want to do a million things. Um, I don't want to make a million phone calls, but it's got to be done. It's just work. Work, 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 work. But man, like even doing breathing exercises, like everything's so clear. There's no <clears throat> inflammation in my face. Um, I can, I, the gut reset is already happening. <laughs> that's, that's not the fun part. <laughs> but it's a, it's a good reset. You know, you're like all of a sudden. Like everything's cleared out. Like you're, you're bringing your body back to normal. The longer you go, the harder it is. But you know, the the more you get. You know, like what's I don't know if anyone's seen Limitless with Chris Helmsworth. And I think it's just a good way for people to see what it's like. Um, they talk about autophagy, which is you know your cells eventually. Every time they replicate, um, you know, every time they do something, there's always something that's not working within them. They're just, it's an older cell. So when you're not digesting food and you're fasting, it'll start to clear those out. And so you're essentially getting rid of dead weight. It is literally that. And so if you do it, you all of a sudden feel rejuvenated. Again, like when you come out of it, just be careful. I would suggest like bone broth and, you know, eggs or something for your first meal. Something easy on the uh, digestive tract and the body because it's like all of a sudden a rush. Um, but, yeah, it's that. And then it, when you're not, it's like your, your senses get really heightened. So if you just go back to thinking about how we would hunt for our food if we're in the middle of a uh, famine and I'm like looking for something and it's been a day or two, man, I'm, I'm really in hunting mode. Good to do. Highly recommend it. Um, you know, I think right after New Year's is a perfect time to do it because we've all fucked around for the holidays and it's time to uh, put ourselves back on track a little bit. You know, I'm not for the New Year resolutions and for uh, re-aiming our sights, right? We set out the year with intentions and as the year progresses, we get distracted and it's just common. It happens. So now reset. Here we are. All right. I get shit to do. And I can't s sit here anymore. Goodbye.